Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from Nightwing2303.com. Today we have a review on the AddiZero Speed Wrap. This is Adidas's latest ankle brace or ankle protection um, accessory that you can wear. Well, you can really wear it for any sport, but they, you know, obviously have Derrick Rose on the packaging, so primarily for basketball. Um, but any action type sport that you use your feet a lot with, you could pretty much use these with. So soccer, volleyball, basketball, things like that, um, and you want to help prevent an ankle injury, uh, the speed wrap is definitely something that I recommend. So without wasting too much time, let's get right into All it. Alright, so real quick, here's just a look at the packaging. Addy Zero Speed Wrap Ankle Brace. So you got Derek Rose as well as the product on the package. Um, these retail for about $30. It's got simple instructions. They're very easy to put on and the sizing, in case you did not know, is right here. So if you wear a, a size 4 to 6, you would get a small. A size 7 to 9 is a medium, which is what I have. And then 10 to 12 would be a large. 13 and up would be an extra large or an XXL. I haven't actually seen any sizes like this, but mostly I see medium and large um, available, especially online. So you can pick these up at East Bay. Um, uh, Adidas, Adidas.com, any Adidas stores. So again, $29.99 I believe, and they come for both the right and the left foot. So here is the product itself. It's a very simple and lightweight product. Um, that's probably the thing that I like the most about it, um, other than the fact that it's extremely comfortable to wear. So with certain braces, you have them tied together right here on the bottom, and you can definitely feel that under your foot when you are wearing your shoes. It presses up into your heel or into your arch area. This is a practically seamless bottom, which is something that I personally like. So where they attach it is right here at the top of the midfoot. Um, basically, what you do to put them on is you slide your foot in here. Right as soon as this little piece here gets to your arch, it's going to get stuck most likely because it's a very tight fit. So what I do is as soon as it gets to my arch area, I put my finger underneath it and I lift up while I push my foot into the rest of the sleeve. So most of this is basic. It's a very compressed type neoprene sleeve. Um, basically this just offers you a lot of compression, uh, especially around the heel and the midfoot area of your shoe, or of your foot I should say. And up top I would like a little bit more compression. It would give you that if it was a one piece, something like that where it was attached, kind of like a sock. Um, but it is open mainly for ease of access for your foot so that you can put it on easier. Once you put it on, you just use the Velcro strap. You put it through the little loop here. And then you're going to use this little red pull tab to straighten everything out so it doesn't get bunched up and you don't get any hot spots or anything like that. Pull it to however you'd like it and then you tighten it up and you're good to go. So the piece on this entire uh, brace that actually promotes the ankle prevention or injury prevention comes from the lateral side of the brace itself. So everything from the base to the top of the foot and the medial side, it's all flexible. It's There's pretty much just whatever this, it kind of feels like plastic and um, or like a screen print and a couple of material layers on there and things like that. So this is really great for somebody that wants to wear a brace, especially if those of you that you know have uh, mental issues with wearing low tops. Um, I know a lot of people always ask me if they should wear a brace if they wear a low top. It's not really necessary, but just for you know your own ease of mind, um, this would definitely be one to wear. So it promotes pretty much free range of motion for your ankle, which is completely awesome, especially if you're a guard or a fast moving type of player. Um, and then right here on the lateral side you have a TPU plate and it's kind of shaped like this so um, and it's right here and so basically you have free range of motion on your medial side and then you have restrictive movement on the lateral side so if you were playing and you were to you know, possibly roll this is supposed to help prevent a full-on ankle injury from rolling over on top of someone's foot, a landing, whatever it is that you might be doing at the time in which you'd get an injury. So I really, really like these. Um, 
this is definitely not something that you would want to use if you are rehabbing an injury. So it's just really, really basic. So this is something that you'll want to wear. Um, I know a lot of people have like used tape and things like that or the laced up type of braces, which are like a level one or a level two type of protection. This is right around that range, but with a little bit more range of motion and flexibility for your ankle. So um, one other thing is that the um, Velcro here, so with, with my ankles, it's laced up, or not laced up, but strapped up right to about here. And all this like white looking stuff, this is all from my shoes. So if you're wearing a decently low cut sneaker, like the Mellows here, you're only gonna get a little bit of frayed material on the lining. If you're wearing a high top sneaker, you're definitely gonna get some of that frayed look um, wherever you're wearing it. And then also here with the Addy Power Howards, these ones pretty much, because the material is so nice and soft on these ones, like it got pretty frayed on there. Um, for me personally, that's not a big deal. But if you wear these with a low top shoe or a moderately mid cut shoe, you definitely won't have that problem. So those of you that like to wear your shoes on and off court, um, for those of you that wear higher cuts and things like that, just kind of be on the lookout for that. I don't know how to fix it, but or or prevent it. But you know, it's for me, it's not a big deal. So that's pretty much it as far as that goes. Um, pros: very very lightweight, very flexible. It's machine washable, so. If these things are starting to get funky, just throw them in the washer, wash them, dry them, and that's pretty much it. Um, the cons that I see is that some people might perceive this to be something to use if you already have an existing injury, which it is not. So do not use this if you already rolled your ankle and you're trying to rehab it. You're going to want something a lot more restrictive um, to cover that ankle up and really pre uh, prevent any movement whatsoever if you choose to play basketball with your injury. So that's one thing. The second thing is, is that obviously this stuff does kind of chew up your shoes a little bit. Again, it's not a big deal, but it is a con. Um, the last con is just the fit right here when you're trying to put it on. The first few times I didn't, I didn't figure out that you can pull this up first and slide your foot through it. So that's really the only cons in my opinion. Um, and then just one more quick look. This is everything in here. So. I don't know what that's for. I guess you're supposed to write your name down in there or something. Um, I think that's kind of funny, but this, I keep these in my gym bag so nobody else is going to be touching them. But yeah, and then you got some padding right here. So one question that I also get with this is does it affect the fit of the shoe itself? Um, the answer is yes and no. It affects the, sh the fit of the shoe in a way, in my opinion at least, to where the shoe fits a little bit more snug, especially in the ankle and heel area. So you get a little bit greater lockdown um, and then as far as it like really flexing out the collar of the shoe so like if you were wearing your shoes and you had this in there with a regular brace your your collar would be just popped out like this and you had like with me I have to unlace these um, one or two spots down and then lace it up down here because I just can't get this area to close up um, as you would with something like this so uh, while I'm wearing the speed wrap I don't have to really do much of anything. Uh, there is a little bit less lace work uh, to tie, but it's not a huge deal. And I feel like the shoes usually fit a lot better with this on. So I feel a lot more comfortable as far as the fit and lockdown of every sneaker I wear with the Speed Wrap, whether it's an Adidas product or a different product. Uh, from All right, guys, brand. so that pretty much takes care of the review on the Adidas AdiZero Speed Wrap. Um, again, I really do recommend these if you're looking to prevent an ankle injury. This is not something that you would want to use if you have a current injury or if you're rehabbing an injury. Something like that, you really want to stay off of it for one. For two, you're going to want something with a lot more support than what this thing offers you. But for $30 and for what it's actually supposed to be for, it does work great. So I think that these are awesome. Um, those of you that already have it, because I know that quite a few of you guys probably use these already, let me know what you think about them, and um, if you don't have one yet, again, I do recommend it to prevent an ankle injury, uh, not to help you with a current injury. This is this is definitely not a rehabbing tool for, for your ankle. So thank you guys for all your support. Thanks for watching, and until next time, guys, have a good one. 
this is Adidas. Adidas's 